You know, Matt, those uh, blueprints are very nice, but um, I don't think they're quite special enough. I want the nursery to be as magical as the moment Josh and I conceived our little child. I hear where you're coming from, exactly. That's good, good. That's why I called you. I knew that we would work well together. <laughs> yeah, well, um, does Josh know? Know what? Well, well, that you want me to, uh, build a nursery. No. I, I want to surprise him. You do that a lot? Well, Josh got into such a rut when he was with Reba when they were married that I'm determined not to let that happen again. Yeah. Hi! So Hi. far, so good. Hi. Yeah. So early. Yeah, a little bit. Let me take your coat. How's your father? Um, he's, he's doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, he, uh... He got a, a boost out of doing the oil deal. Hey, hey, what brings you here? Um, well, it was a surprise, huh, Matt? I asked Matt to come over here and discuss the nursery for our little bundle of joy. She, uh, wanted me to sketch up a few things for the nursery. I hope it's okay. Well, why wouldn't it be, Matt? I told Matt that you and I only want the best for our little baby. Isn't that right? Thank you for letting us see him on such short notice. Thank you for coming. He doesn't get many visitors these days. <laughs> Dr. Wilson, you have company. He must be in the social hall with our other retirees. If you want to wait here, I'll go get him. Okay. Dr. Wilson is sharp as a tack. It's just you might find him a bit uh, odd. His interest in astrology has become somewhat of an obsession. I'll be right back. Thank you. <sighs> thank, thank you, Mrs. Bowman. Wow. Look, hon, don't give up hope. Wilson is either, either going to help you find your brother or not. And either way, you're doing what your mom wanted. And Sarah, wherever she is, she's got to know. You Thank know. you. Once again, for being right here by my side. I'm your husband. I love you. I wouldn't have it any other way. by to see you, could I? You were so much part of my old life here in Springfield. You and Buzz. You are to me a cassoulet, which I hear is to as two as heaven is to earth. You are a fortune of hammered gold lying somewhere off the Pacific coast waiting for someone to find it. I never so much wanted to make my mark in this world as to see the marks that God made on it and let them mark me. And now I've touched one. I have tasted one. And it is so sweet. And I know I will not go mad anymore. When I die, I will not be one of those suckers who ran himself out chasing something he smelled.
Sweetie, do you want me to uh, fix you a snack or, or um, get you a drink or anything? Actually, uh, I'd like an explanation first. Excuse me? Um, I was just thinking it's a little early to be start starting plans on a nursery. Baby's not due until the summer. Right. Well, I thought, why wait? I mean, it took you and Matt months to build Blake and Ross's nursery. Once you decided on a design, I thought I'd get the ball rolling. You know, just in case I develop complications later on. Is there some problem now? No, 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 not at all. It's just I don't want to leave anything to chance. I mean, our baby deserves the best, right? Right. You're absolutely right. Uh, yeah, Matt and I will put our heads together. And uh, we'll uh, we'll get started on that nursery right away. Then. Great, honey. <laughs> we'll work as a team on this nursery. <laughs> uh, you know, um, Matt and I were discussing the carousel theme. Why don't you sit down? And I'll bring you up to date. <clears throat> okay. What were you thinking? You um, know, actually, with maybe we ought to do this another time. I mean, uh, Josh has had a long trip. He's probably tired. You know, I can do it another day. Why? I mean, we're all here. Why not discuss it now? I'll make a big pot of coffee, and we can get that to it. That would be great. Okay? Thank you. Good, good. You see, Matt? There's nothing my sweet husband wouldn't do for our baby. <laughs> I guess you didn't tell Annie you had a divorce, huh? No, Matt, I didn't. Look, you, you see how she is. I can't... No matter how much I love Reva, I can't do anything that's going to jeopardize her recovery or complicate the pregnancy. Dr. Wilson, these are the nice people who've come to see you. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do I know you, kids? Uh, well, no, sir, you don't. I'm, I'm Reva Shane Cooper. Hi. This is my husband, mm -hmm. Buzz. Uh, hi. My horoscope is right. Said to expect the unexpected. Here you are. Well, uh, what can I do for you? Well, uh, Dr. Wilson, my, my mother was a patient of yours at St. Agnes Hospital here in Chicago, and I was hoping you might be able to answer some questions for me about her stay here. What was your mother's name? Oh, uh, Sarah Shane. You helped deliver a baby boy for her. It was, gosh, over 25 years ago. And I need your help to try to find him. Well, my advice is to call St. Agnes, speak to the records department. They can tell you what you want to know. Well, unfortunately, I already did that, and the records that I need were burned in a fire a few years back. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, when the stars say, expect the unexpected, they don't kid around, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Wilson, I know that I'm asking a lot of you, but my mother had to give that baby up for adoption, and her dying wish was that... He know how much she loved him all her life. And to let him know that he has two sisters and a brother who want to love him now, too. If you could just think back, do you remember delivering a baby boy to a Sarah Shane? Sarah Shane? Sarah Shane. Mr. Moat's crazy for wanting us to pick apart poetry for some stupid paper. If it wasn't good, it wouldn't have been published in the first place. <laughs> the face of all the world has changed, I think, since first, since I, first heard I heard this, the, the footsteps, footsteps of, of my, my soul. soul. I'm sorry. I don't remember any patient named Sarah Shane. But I know you delivered her baby. Uh, sir, I, I, I talked to the head of St. Agnes Hospital myself, and she said that there was no doubt that you were her mother's obstetrician. Well, I believe you. I just can't place the name. Well, she... Well, she was five foot five inches tall. She had blonde hair and beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. And she was from Tulsa. I'm sorry. I'm, draw I'm drawing a blank. Dr. Mercury, Mercury must be in retrograde. It's just that... So much time has gone by already. I, I, now, I understand your frustration, and I'm sorry I can't be more help. Well, I'm sorry, too. Um, you were my last hope. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Wilson, again. Okay. 
Oh, no. Wait. Wait, I just thought of something. What? What is it? Well, do you remember when the baby was born? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, my well? mama told me right before she died. I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. Well, sit. Sit. Oh. Uh. Here. Uh, oh, you see, I, I recorded all of the babies that I delivered uh, according to the astrological sign. So all I have to do to find your brother is to look up this date. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Judy Guberman, uh, Shirley McCallum, Sarah O'Neill all had babies on that day. Sarah O'Neill? Did you say Sarah O'Neill? Yes, why? Good question. Well, that's got to be it. I mean, O'Neill was, was my Aunt Mosey's maiden name. I mean, it's perfect. Mama never would have used her real name. She, she wouldn't have done that. What was it Dickens wrote? It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. That's what life was like with Buzz. Oh, but then again, you already know that. You were the backdrop of our life. You were the port in all of our storms. But I was never happier than the times I spent here with Buzz. I don't know what it was, if it was magic or uh, chemistry. Fate. But that kind of thing only comes around once in a lifetime. It's a pity it, it had to end so soon. It's a pity it had to end at all. Hey, do you remember the night we conceived little Coop? Henry Cooper Bradshaw. Oh, that was the night. Oh, so different from when Buzz had to console me once I lost Roger's baby. I think, you know, I think that was when I fell in love with Buzz. No, oh, maybe it was the, maybe it was the time when I first laid eyes on him. loved a man as much as I loved Buzz. I probably never will. Can I count on you for keeping my secret? Thanks, I thought I could. <laughs> We live in Ascot and we sell apple pie. <laughs> B, my name is Bunny. We're here. Goodness. Jenna Bradshaw, will you marry me? Well, this is something so tiny, so small, that 
that you have for such a short time can leave such a big, empty hole that nothing can fill. Josh, I know you pretty well. I mean, we've known each other for some time now, and I don't see how you can stay married to Annie when you're hers with Reva. I'll manage. I'll do what I have to do, at least until the baby is born. So what, you can pretend for the next uh, seven or eight months? I mean, how are how, how you going to do what, that? You what, gotta... what do you want me to say here, huh? I mean, look, look at the way Annie is. You see how dependent she is on me. You see how much she needs my approval for everything. If I tell her that I'm... If I tell her that I'm in love with Reva... And then I'm going to uh, go away with Reva, that our marriage is over. I hate to think of what that would do to her. Well, better you tell her than she finds out for herself. No, she has no reason to suspect anything at this point. I, I'm not going to give her one. What if you come home one night and she wants to make love? What are you going to do? Oh, man. <laughs> and I thought I had problems. Listen, the bottom line is this, okay? She's carrying my child. I can't do anything to upset her right now. Any stress she feels, the child will feel. I don't know how you're going to do it. Well, neither do I. You know, Vanessa and I had the real thing, so I can understand where you're coming from wanting to get back with Reva. But? But I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know how you're going to live your life like this. I know I couldn't. I don't see where I have any choice. When the baby is born, when I know that baby is safe, and when Annie's back on her feet, that's the time when I'll make my move. What about Rena? What about her? Did she tell Buzz? No, she didn't. We both feel that it would just upset Annie more if she knew that Reva was free and clear. So Buzz doesn't have the slightest idea what's going on, and Reva's sort of Look, just hanging man, out. I don't like this lying thing. You know that. I hate lying to Buzz. I like him. I think he's a good guy. I think he deserves better than this mess that Reva and I have made of things. I, I know that I, I have a picture of Mama here somewhere. I mean, people sent snapshots to me all the time of her going around Italy, you know, on day trips and things. Honey, it's kind honey, of... honey, take it easy. We're in a rush, but he's not in a rush. Uh, now with Uranus and transit, I'm not. Oh, here. Yeah. Right. Finally. This, this is my Mama. This is Sarah Shane. Is that the woman you remember to be Sarah O'Neill? Of course, she was younger then. I think it is. Oh, Lord, thank you, Mr. Wilson. Thank you so much. Expect the unexpected. I guess the jackpot that time. Now, if, if you could just, um, if you could just think back, uh, do you remember what happened to, to the baby that you delivered, the, the baby, baby boy? Yes, the, ba uh, the baby was given up for adoption, and uh, and assigned to a social worker. Do you remember the social worker's name? Well, let me see. Uh, there was a petite woman, an Aries, I believe. Sandra. Mayfield. Sandra Mayfield. That's great. Well, don't bother trying to look her up. Sandra's been dead for years. Oh, oh. oh look, I'm sorry that Miss Mayfield died and all, but, I mean, her case records must be around somewhere. I mean, if we could find them, then maybe I could find out something about my half-brother, like where he is. No. No. Oh, don't say those records are lost, too. No, no, it's not that. It's that you keep referring to your 
mother's baby is a boy. The more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that Sarah gave birth to a girl. Excuse me. I'm really sorry, but do you think I could have your seat, please? Michelle, I've been looking all over town for you. I mean, I went to the hospital, I went to the company, I went to the mall. I mean, Jeffrey, where... slow down. You're acting weird. Why was it so important to see me? Why? Um, is there an echo in here, or are you trying to dodge the question? Okay, I, uh, I, I just wanted to, to talk to you, that's all. About what? I, I don't know, s stuff. Fine, talk. <sighs> okay, that's it. I have work to do. I wanted to tell you I love you, okay? I love you, Michelle. I love you. A girl. My mother gave birth to a daughter, not a son. I mean, is it possible that you got that confused? Well, I'm not a doddering old fool. At least not yet. I'm, I'm sorry. Of all the babies I brought into the world, only a few were given up for adoption. I remember your mama's little girl because she was one of them. But now that you do think about it, you're sure it was a girl? Well, let me double check. I mean, I, I always uh, write down the baby's sex. There it is. Uh, oh. What? Glass. Well, these fountain pens, the ink must have been wet when I closed the book. You see? It's yeah, smudged. yeah, I, 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 I see that. Expect the unexpected. How much do we trust in Mr. Domus's memory over there? I don't know, but, you know, Mama wasn't positive that it was a boy. How could she not know? Uh, I, uh, sir, um, one more question. Uh, this social worker, this uh, Sandra Mayfield, um, what agency did you work through? The Cook County Department of Family and Children's Services. All adoptions had to go on record through the state, whether they were private or not. Thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> Dr. Wilson. You have been a big, big help. Thanks. Good luck, young Thank lady. You. <laughs> wow. Uh, I've got a sister out there that I never knew I had. Oh. Eleni. Hello, Jenna. I wasn't crying over Buzz. My eyes are watering because it's very dusty in here and I'm allergic. You didn't used to be. Well, I am now. I see. Good. Well, if you were crying over Buzz, I'd understand. And I know how much this place meant to the both of you. Well, that was a lifetime ago. Oh, come on, Jenna. It was only a few years back. I remember it like it was yesterday. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be cooking something with grape leaves or whatever? I was on my way back from the grocery store. I saw the lights on in here. Let my curiosity get the best of me. Actually, I thought Buzz might be here. Well, why would you think that? Well, he loves this place as much as you do. Oh, did he say that? Uh, no. Why? No reason. Oh, come on, Jenna. What's going on? Out with it. Or what? You'll jump down my throat the way you did when I fell right into the wedding cape. <laughs> oh. oh. I was pretty mad at you then. Mad? You were like a one-woman Greek typhoon. Well, I'm glad we got past that. Yes, lucky for me, you're so forgiving at heart. <laughs> All right, I'll admit it. Perhaps once or twice I was a bit over the top, a bit duplicitous. <laughs> Once or twice. And you made Buzz so happy. Mm, I fought the idea of you two being together, but I could never deny that he loved you more than he's ever loved anyone. 
Even Reva. Oh, come on, Elaine, tell the truth. Buzz and Reva, they're happy, aren't they? You love me? That is what you, what you said, right? You, you love me. Yes, Michelle, I love you. I wanted to tell you for so long, I just... Yeah, I didn't know how I... Or what to do, or... Yeah, I was afraid. That is so sweet. Really? Uh-huh. I, I mean, that's been my problem all along, you know? I... 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 I, I I never know what to say when, when I feel what I feel. I, I wanted to tell you I've loved you for so long. I just, I didn't. And I just want to make sure it's not too late. It's not. I love you too, Zachary. I have for months and months. I think you're the nicest, sweetest, most caring, most wonderful guy I've ever known. And, and since we're being honest, you're also incredibly cute. Especially your eyes. There's a light in them. I see the same light in you, Michelle. I mean, that's part of what makes you so beautiful. I've never been happier than I am at this very moment. Neither have I. Thank you, Zachary. Thank you for making my dream come true. I pray that you wouldn't leave me and my prayers were answered. You're here and we're together. I can't promise you forever, Michelle. You have to know that going in. I don't care about tomorrow or the day after that. You love me, and I love you. You love me, and I love you. Every minute of every day. That's going to make it hard for me to get my English paper done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't care about the stupid paper. Well, I could help you. Or, or I could just sit here and, and watch you. <laughs> I was having enough time concentrating on Elizabeth Barrett Browning. I was... I was hating her for making love sound so wonderful when I was feeling like it's so impossible. <laughs> If thou must love me, let it be for naught, except for love's sake only. Do not say I love her for her smile, her look, her way of speaking gently. We do the carousel theme, sweetheart. We can do those bright lights, like in the carousel, and we can do some, some trim work on the walls. And I was thinking maybe the crib could look like a big sleigh, and we have some horses in front of it, pretending that they were pulling the sleigh. You, you thought about this a lot, haven't you? Well, having this baby is all I've been thinking about. And how happy it's going to make us. <laughs> well, Thanks for the coffee, guys, but I gotta get out of here and I'll uh, put some more stuff down on paper and get back to you, Annie, okay? Okay. Um, thank you, Matt. Thanks for all your help in coming over sure. here. Sure, sure, you're welcome. <laughs> the three of us really appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> See ya. Okay. You know, I, I miss you so much, sweetheart, especially uh, around New Year's Eve. <laughs> how's, your, how's your father? He's doing very well, thank you for asking. Oh, um, he still negotiates very well. <laughs> it was great that you could help him out, you know. Yes. And even better that you could spend some quality time with him. Yeah, I didn't realize how much I miss him. Yeah. It's very special what you have. Yeah. I guess I 
feel it more keenly because I never knew my parents. I never knew the bond that a parent has with a, a child. How did your uh, AA and NA meetings go? Fine. Great. And the kids were over at Riva's, you know, so I could really concentrate on my sobriety and my recovery. You were right about that. That's good. Yeah, it's amazing what an incentive being pregnant is for my recovery. You know, I'm, I'm staying sober for two of us, not just for me. You know, eating for two, all that stuff. I never thought of it that way. Well, you don't have to, honey. You don't have to. Just knowing that you love and support me is enough. I missed you so much. Did I tell you that already? Uh, where are the kids? <laughs> well, I brought them home after we talked, you know, from Rivas, mm -hmm. and they're so excited to see you. Did they, did they go out with, uh, Katie? No, or? no, 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 they're upstairs, they're doing their homework. Well, listen, you know, I, I, I don't want them walking in on us or anything like what? that. What? <laughs> Being affectionate <laughs> to one another? Sweetheart, that's not a, not a bad image to reinforce <clears throat> their mom and dad loving each other. You, you know what I'm saying here, though. Oh, Josh, I'm not going to make mad, passionate love to you here in the living room. I can wait till we're behind closed doors, silly. <laughs> I think I'll run on up and say hi. <clears throat> okay, well, hurry back down. I, I have a special welcome home surprise for you. <laughs> how you broke every rule in the book. That's better. <laughs> what do you think I want, Fran? I want to get pregnant. And you're going to help me, whether you like it or not. I mean, this, what, what just happened, it's, it's incredible. I know. <laughs> I felt it, too. You're beautiful. Your eyes. Your smile. Even your hair against my hands. It's beautiful. I, I never thought I could feel this way about anyone. But I do. I love you so much. I love you too. And each time I say it, it gets easier. Can you say it again? Please? I love you, Michelle. I love you. What's that? Library's closing now. <laughs> we have to leave. <laughs> well, how about I drive you home? I like that. A lot. <laughs>
between my adorable husband's needs and Fran's help, I'm gonna get pregnant one way or another in no time. And there's no way Reva can compete with that. I know, I know it's frustrating, but I mean, adoption records are always kept sealed. You know, maybe Ross Marler can help us get them unsealed. I... It's your mom's secret. I thought it was supposed to stay her secret. I, I know, I just feel like we need all the help we can get, and I, and I trust Ross completely. Well, I'll open up the legal avenues. Go for it, baby. Maybe that's Cook County having a change of heart. Hello? It's me. Um... I need to see you tonight. Buzz is a very good man, and he has a good heart. And he deserves to be happy. Is he happy, Eleni? Does Reva really love him the way he needs to be loved? You mean the way you loved him? No, no, no. Just answer the question. Because Matt Reardon said something that's got me wondering. Buzz was taken with Reva from the very first moment he saw her. And as for Reva, she obviously adores him. And why else would she have given up Josh Lewis and Alan Spaulding? No, she... of course, you're absolutely right. Buzz and Reva have stood by each other through some pretty tough times. They've even managed to rise above a lot of talk that Josh and Reva are destined to be together. So if that doesn't make a solid marriage, I don't... I don't know what does. Oh, good. Well, now I can cross Buzz off my worry list. Thank you, Eleni. I can always count on you to be absolutely honest with me. Jenna, to be perfectly honest... I've got to get going. I... <laughs> I promise, Marina. She can help me make dinner tonight. That's very sweet. You're welcome to join us. Oh, I, I have a prior commitment. Well, some other time then. No, oh, thank you. How long will you be in town? I, I'm really not sure at the moment. My plans aren't settled. Well, if you have a chance, maybe you can come by and see Marina. Oh, you, would, you wouldn't believe how much she's grown. It happens like that, doesn't it? One moment you're holding a little bundle, the next they're walking and talking, looking just like their father. <laughs> I've noticed that with my friend's children. It's wonderful. Jenna, don't look so sad. You'll have a child of your own someday. And a husband who loves you both with all his heart. Um, goodbye, Jenna. Take care. Lady. So you're happy. 